combating the opioid epidemic here on the island. Today, a panel of experts heard from someone who was caught in the grip of addiction. News 12 Long Island's Daniel Campbell has the story. Robert Evans, a married father with two children, has struggled most of his life with drug and alcohol addiction. I was an absolute mess. Evans shared his story of repeated failures and eventual success with a panel of community members who gathered today to discuss the opioid addiction that has gripped Long Island. If you put in the effort, things are going to work out. The panel put together by State Senator Elaine Phillips and Northwell Health consisted of a cross-section of experts who are engaged in the battle against opioids. And that's how you turn the corner on healthcare epidemics. Everyone pitches in, they exchange resources, and they hopefully turn the corner on this devastating crisis. According to the panel, the number of deaths from opioid use are astounding. 600 Long Islanders died in 2017. Unfortunately, every community on Long Island has been touched by the opioid epidemic including here in the Massapequa area. We're told one of the hotspots in Nassau County is the Massapequa area and in Suffolk, the town of Brookhaven. So um, that's not to single out any community, but uh, no community's been immune to this. Topics discussed by the panel included the use of vaping by teens, the lethal synthetic drug fentanyl, and mandatory drug education in schools. Make it part of a curriculum and give them real facts. Robert Evans, who now works helping addicts get clean, applauded those who attended, saying when a community that cares and takes action. It's possible. You know, you can make it onto the other side. Danielle Campbell, News 12, Long Island. Well, the group also discussed Narcan training, and we have information on free training and a kit offered by the Long Island Council of Alcoholism and Drug Dependence. It's on our website, news12.com.